let's understand this convex mirror again a few more things previously I've just talked about the, how the convex mirror looks like now we're going to see where it's being used and how uh, how this thing works first of all it says that if parallel light beams is incident on the mirror the light will scatter in all directions I have said that light is falling on this drop is coming and it's falling on this direction this is the beam of light remember this red color things are the beams of light are the beams of light as it is falling on this portion of the mirror so we call it convex mirror we call it first of all convex mirror <coughs> now now we need to understand one more concept which is focal point here is the focal point or I have said focus same thing we call it focal point this is the half of the uh, this is center of curvature as I have said what is this point called this point I have shown in the previous slide that I have shown it in the previous slide yeah. this portion is called pole remember this is P this is pole this focal uh, this focal point will be exact in the middle of this pole and this curvature center of curvature basically this, this curvature is like this if you if I draw it fully it's like this but we only need this portion because we will be working with only this portion this portion of the uh, sphere we don't need it to use this is all we need so this is the convex mirror okay now what if the light would have fall from this direction what would have happened this would become concave mirror okay as light is falling on this side of the curvature so this is convex mirror I hope you understand the idea of concave and complex. Now, what happens? These beams of light, these are the beams of light, these red ones, are falling on this mirror. Then, what happens? Then, see, this is going, this is going to this focal point. All this, all these rays are coming to this focal point. Okay. All these rays are coming to this focal point. I mean, how to, how to, um, sorry, how to understand that? Suppose this, you, if you actually fall a beams of light, the light will be reflected back. The light, these beams of light, will reflect in this direction. Why in this direction? Why it's not reflecting back in this exact direction? Because this is not a plane mirror. So the, it will be reflected back in this direction. This will also be reflected back on this direction. This will reflect back in the exact direction. So see here, it's going in this direction and coming back in this direction. Same line. This is going in this direction and it's coming back making an angle it's coming back making an angle now the angle is making if you uh, further increase this you will see that all these beams all these beams are meeting at one point that point is called focal point this point is called focal point this focal point is half of the radius of curvature see in this also these are the beams of light which are falling on this lens and this all these rays are meeting at this focal point now when this ray this ray is falling on this on this surface how will it reflect back it will reflect back like this it 
it is coming like this and it will be reflected back like this it is coming like this and it will be reflected back like this this one this one this one this one so now if you extend it in the opposite side opposite side you see all these lines are meeting at this point so this point is called focal point and the distance of focal point the distance of focal point from this uh, uh, from this point which is the center of curvature is called focal length focal length from this to this portion of area is called focal length So this is what the convex mirror actually work um, actually looks like and this is how the light beams actually work. The rays of light, the, uh, the way the rays of light are falling, it is falling parallelly, but it will not reflect it back parallelly. The lights will scatter in different uh, in different angles, making different angles. And a certain image will form and that image will not be equal to the image of the object we will see this thing further we will see this thing further in this slide